All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do another vintage, nope, legacy cube draft. See, it gets to a point where I don't want to call it what it is. I can't because I forget by that point. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm playing right now. Uh, we're going to do stipulation draft by BioVisionary918. And the stipulation is that we can't choose any words, any cards with the physical word target on them. Uh, so nothing like, you know, like no Doom Blades, nothing like that. Uh, there are two exceptions. One is reminder text and one is planeswalkers. We can take planeswalkers because there are so many planeswalkers in the cube that if we just didn't take any planeswalkers that targeted things, we would just not be able to pick any planeswalkers. Uh, so we can supplement that if we need removal. We can use a planeswalker to have removal, stuff like that. Um, and also reminder text. So that means that unless uh, an equipment specifically says target like Umazawa's Jite, we can still take something like a sort of Feast and Famine. Because there's no word, there's no target on the on that card, um, and you know the other thing is that control magic doesn't have the word target on it. You know, treachery doesn't have the word. Oh, treachery does because you're untapping five lands, I think. So it's gonna be it's interesting. The physical word target has to be on the card. If it's not on the card, it's fair game. So that is the stipulation, and that was the fastest. See, like oh. For each player, search that player's library for an online card. That's the none of these target, which is great. And if we accidentally take something that targets, we can just put it in the in the we can just not play it. This put up two creature cards from your hand, search your library for two creatures. This doesn't target at all. Hmm. Is tooth and nail just a pick here? Alan's Tinderbrows says, I play Utron. This is why the man gets dates. Wow. I definitely didn't see it, and I'm glad you reposted that, because that's pretty hilarious. Alright, so. Thanos, what's going on, buddy? I do have yours in the queue. I actually, I even updated the wording to make sure it was more clear. Um, I only did Courtney's because she literally said, hey, can we do the stipulation tonight? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I'm going to take Tooth and Nail. I, do you think it's Tooth and Nail? It's probably the most powerful card in the pack. See, like, even a card like this, it doesn't say target anywhere on it, which is nice. Enchantment auras obviously do target things, but because the physical word target isn't on the card, it's fair game. You think Tooth and Nail? Sure. All right. I'll take Tooth and Nail. Old Tooth and Snail. Tooth and Snail. Bailoff Boys. Yeah, I like Bailoff Boys. Oh, they looks like the old Bailoff Boys are at it again. That's from uh, an old TV show called The Bailoff Boys. Nobody believes you. People believe me. Tonos, I'm almost pos I'm almost positive you are one of the people who would care the least. Um Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's how you can tell. F you, Frank. How many weeks since last time? I'm putting another step up based on chat suggestion of the poll after options found. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I'm putting another step up based on chat suggestions of the poll after options. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You're going you're gonna to get some options and put up a poll to see what they want to do. Yeah, that sounds awesome, actually. Do that. But I do have yours. Uh, I do have yours in... In a note here, it says draft two cards in all five colors, then cut all cards that aren't two colors of your choice. Gold cards count as each of their colors for the purpose of quantity. So that we can easily put it in the add stip. Oh, look at that beautiful chicken. I like all the cards that search your library for things because they never target. Because they can't. Mm -hmm. Is it green sun? Is it beautiful chicken? I don't think a chicken's that good. Well, I don't think so either. I, don't, I think I'm just, I think I'm still overvaluing it because it's Ixalan and Ixalan. I would have taken this first pick. The Splinter Twin target? Splinter Twin target? I'm asking you that question. Oh! No. No, it doesn't. Because it's an enchantment. Like, it's an enchantment aura. Unless the word... It doesn't have the word target on it, so... Ooh, does it say target? No, it doesn't. Oh, return target card and rekindling face. We actually couldn't even take Phoenix. Good call. Um... It's... This pack's pretty limited, actually. Can't take Duplicant... Can't take Hostage Taker, can't take Karmic Guide, can't take... We can take Phantasmal Image. Oh, no, we, can, we can't. Can't take this. I think we just have to take Green Sun Zenith here. Or Splinter Twin. This is just better for Tooth and Nail, though, right? Wait, no, we can't take Splinter Twin. Because if we if we got Pestermite, we can't take Pestermite. We can't take Zealous Conscripts. We can't take Deceiver Exarch. Are they sure they say Target? What? Does it say Target? Does what say Target? The creatures. There's one right there. You can read it. Yeah, right here. Untap target permanent, tap target permanent. How else would you even do that? Hmm. Uh, 
Interesting. Unta okay, so here's the thing. What about Nissa? On the front, Nissa doesn't target. It well, only targets when you flip don't count it. Anyway, right? Oh, I guess that's true. So the front half doesn't target anything, but the back half is a planeswalker, so it doesn't. It's excluded. So I think we just take this Nissa. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can search for it or the Green Sun Zenith. That's a good deal. Harmonize. Oh, and control a control magic. magic. What did you say? Control magic. You want to go with the double blue card over the harmonize? Yeah. Interesting. It's real good. Is it? It is. You're not wrong. What do you guys think? Harmonize or control magic? Thug life. We actually couldn't have taken, um, I think it's harmonized too. I think Mike's being real greedy. I love greed. Um, we actually could have taken Trigon Predator because Trigon Predator targeted. Everyone said harmonize. You were just wrong. Maybe everyone else was wrong. Touche. I like this Rish car, but it does target things. And then you can't take it. Did you just take Edric here? And then feel bad about the not taking the control. Yeah, magic. that's right. <laughs> the regret is real. It's it's Edric, right? Yeah, it's really only the card in the pack. I mean, I don't want to take double white brim. I think Edric is better than brim as for a deck like this. And plus, I think we're big fans of blue green. I am. I don't know if you are. I hate it. Okay, well, just as much as I hate you. Is oh, Jesus. <laughs> Lumbering Falls or you have my elder. Elder's a lot better on fixing. So is Lumbering Falls. Is it? I don't know. Simic? They're both Simic. This is getting us islands. You know it. It's probably Lumbering Falls. I like fixing lands. Fixing lands are harder to come by. I think there's a lot of cards that are going to be of this caliber. I want to take Lumbering Falls. It's got Hexproof, man. It sure does. Oh, Oracle of Moldiah, Botanical Sanctum, or Nyssa. Metathon, nine months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Preach. Oh, also, Tonos, just to be clear, thank you so much, man. That is, uh, that I was I was distracted by the fact that, like, you literally donated. I was trying to say how you you probably weren't really upset that we hadn't done the stip yet. And, uh, I, you know, I, in, in, the, in the moment of joking, I didn't actually thank you. Thank you so much, man. That is, um, as usual, pretty unreal. Really appreciated. You are awesome. What are we taking here? We got nine seconds. Oracle? Sure. Yeah, that's not the greatness anyway. I think Oracle's too too strong. It's not targeting, right? Oh, God. You have to keep checking these things. Chart of course? Chart of course might be better than this guy. It just draws two in the, in the green deck, right? Yeah. Basically, I reserve the right to call a request for suggestions from chat and then put my opinion on... Yeah, definitely. Basically, I reserve the right to call a request for suggestions from chat and then put my opinion of the best ones up to... Yeah, definitely. Go for it. Knock yourself out. I like Elder. Oh, no. We can't take Elder. Dang it. Yep. Oh, wow. We can take none of these. Reflecting Pool, actually? Sure. That seems fine. Arg. It gets to a point where we have to take one of these guys. I'll just take this guy. I don't, we can't play it, obviously, but... All of these target things. Oh, mm -hmm. this is tough. Um. Okay. Mm. Like Hollow Fountain better? Yeah. Really? In case we get a fetch. Okay. I'll... I'll... I'll, I'll yeah, sir, sure. Oh, Maze of Ith? I don't actually hate that. If we get Primal... Tar they target something. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Think of how best to, f to cap a me and when it would be best to do so. Wow. Wow. Ah, this feels bad. I think our deck looks pretty good. I want some more Tooth and Nail targets, so if we can hit that Emrakul... We can't even we can't even take a 10-mana Ulamog because it targets things. Big fat Emrakuls are good, though. No big fat emeralds though. Eternal Witness targets. Farseek. It 
It's either one of these two. It's probably just Farseek, I think. Yeah, I like Farseek better. Like, it gets us... It, it gets us... Uh, well, Forest, right? Oh, actually, it gets us Hollowed Fountain. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's very good. So my biggest issue with the Vegas question is that I just don't know yet. That's my biggest problem. It's just too far out right now, and I don't know where I'm going to be or what's going to be happening with me. So I've had a hard time answering. I don't want to commit to something if I don't know. But that does not excuse the fact that I have not responded to you, and for that I apologize. Um, that is my fault and not yours. So, you hey, big dummy. I don't like you anymore. It didn't take long, but now, now we know. It's good to know things. What did you just say to me? Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pick. Right? He doesn't target, right? No, he doesn't target anything. All right. Well, I'm living near a major airport right now, but I don't know what's going to happen by June. So, hard to say. Um, yeah, this is actually, I mean... Tooth and nail for even these two is still fine. Oh, this is actually great. If we tooth and nail for these two, we get two extra lands. And then we get two extra four fours. Six, 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 four, 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 four. Oh, an opponent separates those. Nice. I think it's just factor fiction here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine you disagree with that. That's a pretty easy pick. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Actually. Mimic Fat seems... Oh, or Kitchen Finks. Mimic Vac or Kitchen... Mimic Vac or Kitchen Finks. Vac. Vat? Vac? Vac, you. Chad Bradbury. 48 months, buddy. Thank you so much. You're welcome back, by the way. What did you say? You didn't say anything. Is it Finks or is it Mimic Fat? I think Finks. Really? Mm-hmm. Over Vat? We don't have ways to kill Finks. Wow, 48 months is four years. That's insane. Happy four-year anniversary, Chad. We don't have a way to kill things. You're right, actually. That was what I was thinking. Can't do this. Change the target of target spell or ability to spell skate. If it says target twice, does that cancel it out? Does that negate it? At the beginning of combat, if creatures you have control to target creature gains haste. Ugh. It's just this guy. We can't actually play these three, unfortunately. So I think we just take this guy and maybe have a 3-4 flyer that we can draw cards with. Or chart a course with. I guess. Yeah, it seems fine. Simic OP. Ooh, I like this guy. Yeah, this seems great, actually. I want to be rampant. We can also mirror battle sphere. You take battle sphere. Uh, the battlement might wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two cards are coming back. I'm gonna bet that they're gonna be. I bet it's hollowed spirit keeper. Maybe it's these two. It's actually I want to say dragon slayer spirit keeper. So do you want a ramp or do you want a fatty? I don't know. Make sure I, doesn't want, target. I feel like I want the ramp. All right. Because we can get more fatties, but the ramp, having the ramp is relevant. Oh, this is nice because it lets our Farseek get a... Plains. Yeah, it gets a... No, it gets a, no, it gets a forest. Because Farseek oh, can sure. only get not forests. All right. All right. Uh, I don't think it's birthing pod. We just don't have the creatures for birthing pod. Uh, deals damage to that player. That's not... Oh, Rampant Growth. That's good. That is good. Avacyn's Pilgrim came back. That's actually pretty good. And now we have a significant amount of white fixing that we could use for any kind of uh, white shenanigans. Yep. And this is our first white one drop.
putting in a request for some Gran Turismo post stream. Uh, you would have to be talking to Nifty Chris for that one. Genesis Wave. And it's the really the only card we can take here, so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, good talk. Oaths of Nissa? Sure. Sure. Seeker of D-Way? Is the only way. You can take Geist of St. Traps. Sure. Yeah, Mom Mom definitely targets. I'm going to take Geist of St. Traft. Maybe we actually just play this. Three targeting cards. We'll just take the Serac. Actually, we'll take the Quarantine Field. Actually, we'll take the Serac. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I was debating on it for so long. Oh, I was one down. I got one out of the two. We got Hermit. Whisperwood. Metamorph. Uh, Metamorph seems good. Doesn't target. You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield except as an artifact innovation. No. A lot of the times the copy effects don't target because they come into play as that thing, so you're not targeting it. I fly out and fun all your games, but you're only allowed to play games I register for, too, and whatever drafts I may be throwing like I did with Eternal Masters last year. Oh, boy. Turn on Blood Moon. Feel free to send it over. I'll, I'll definitely take a look. What, did you, what do you think, man? What's the deal? Metamorph. Is it Metamorph? Yeah. Over these idiots? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, just, I was just testing you, man. Will I win? Uh, you win. Oh, Rafelos. That's a good boy. And we also have a Savannah, which is a forest, which is nice. Yeah, it's definitely Rafelos. Oh, Misty Rainforest and Woodfall Primus. Probably Misty. Oh, we can't actually take Woodfall Primus because of targets. Dang it. Yeah, I think it's definitely Misty here. I do like tra Tireless Tracker a lot. But we do have a lot of card advantage already. We have Factor Fiction, Harmonize. Uh, Nissa draws a card. Oracle of Moldai gets his cards. Primeval Titan gets his cards. Uh, Edric gets his cards. So I don't actually think we need the card advantage. I think it's definitely Misty. I'm going to take the Misty. Hey, listen. No. Why? Why? Why are you the way that you are? Someone has to be. Trust it on, but that probably targets, right? That targets three separate things. Hmm. This also targets, right? Yep. It's got to be just Advocate then, right? Because this also targets. Does it? Yeah, return up to one target card from your graveyard. Oh, okay. Hey, listen. I guess it's avocado then. Yep, it's only Sylvan Avocado is the only way to go. But this is actually pretty good because we have a Lumbering Falls. So just a cool, just a cool five-five hexproof land. That's cool. <sighs> Michael Bay. Hold me closer, Stratus Dancer. That targets. That targets. We can actually take the locks on Warhammer. Or the Hydra. Or the Hydra. I don't think we need another creature, though. I kind of like Warhammer because you can put it on something like Serendib of Freet or any of the creatures, really, to give Trample, which lets us draw the card with Edric. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. I'm glad. Good talk. Good talk. I said bouquet. You did. You said bouquet. Bouquet. Uh, we actually have no picks in this pack. That's really sad. That targets... 
that targets. This idiot targets twice. Oh, actually. Oh. Doesn't target. Doesn't target and looks beautiful. Also, Knight of the Reliquary. Also doesn't target. But we don't have... I think it's... I think Ojutai is a little bit better. We also don't have any five drops. And I don't really... Oh, this is actually great removal. Yeah. That we don't actually have much of. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it just song? Yeah. Sing song all day long? How many, how many cards is this? 54? 24? 24? All right. What are we cutting here? I mean, I know you just took it, but... Don't, don't, don't even say it. Well, Geist is pretty loose. Yeah, I could see cutting Geist. I like Geist because the 4-4 flyer would typically draw a card from Edric. Yeah. So it was if nice. If you have them both out. Uh, we do in this situation. Well, then I think we're already winning. Cutting Mikey B is probably the correct choice. I agree with you. Man, why don't you... Why do you target? City of Brass, maybe? Sure. It's not great, but it is a thing. Like, I'm not going to play Double White Demiria, right? No. Chat got real quiet all of a sudden. Chirp, 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 chirp. Yeah, that's what I Chirp, said. chirp, 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 this is why, this is why my videos get demonetized. Because of me going chirp chirpinson. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, deranged tournament. That's a nice little, little pepper pepper face. A little pepper face. I don't know what that means. I don't know why I said that. I'm just gonna take deranged tournament. How's that sound? Sounds fine. Cheap, 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 cheap. Oh, hi, oh Mark. hi, Mark. We should have took the Gisela. Maybe the Bruna comes back. Oh, this guy's also pretty good. And we can search for this guy with... Uh, Green Tooth Sun. Well, both, yeah. Yeah. Woodfall Primus. Still Ooh, here? Search for tomorrow. Yeah, it's got to be search. Cheep, 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 cheep. I don't think we want the Oath of, Oath of Nissa. I could care less about that. We have no Planeswalkers that we care about. Chart, of course, is pretty loose considering uh, blues are splash. It's also kind of not that great. Drawing two cards? Yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree that it's not strong. And we also have Factor Fiction and, like, Harmonize and all kinds of other stuff, so. Uh, I don't think it seems greedy when we have Misty Rainforest, Lumbering Falls, Hollowed Fountain, Savannah, uh, Rampant Growth, Far Seek, Search for Tomorrow, and Avacyn's Pilgrim. I think it's actually a pretty reasonable amount of, uh, let's take the, let's take the Armageddon. Time again. And City of... Br oh, wow. The Bruna came back? Holy smokes. I'm going to I'm gonna ruin someone's day. Oh, Knight of the Reliquary. That's actually pretty sweet. And Jeroka's Command. Okay, if we could target, Jeroka's Command would be probably a straight in there. One of the things that's going to be difficult is getting rid of artifacts and enchantments with this... I think Post City. If you yeah. want to commit to all those colors. God, every time though, every time we hit it, every time we hit it, we gotta Yeah, well, that's life. It's not if we don't make it that way. It's a classic, City of Brass. What could go wrong? Uh we die. You can't be scared of taking a little damage. You gotta be a big boy. Do Take I? a little damage to get there. And how much fiction do we have? Uh, so white sources without a basic land. We'll probably be adding... Let's add one. We're going to add one and one. So white sources we have one. We're not going to count reflecting pool because reflecting pool only works if we actually have one. So one, two, Misty Rainforest is three, four, five, Rampant Growth is six, Far Seek is seven, Search for Mara is eight. Okay. Seems good. Uh, blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, maybe we don't need City. 
Yeah, I mean, like, our, our mana is good. And, like, we also, we only need one of each color. There's nothing double in our in our colors. Plus, we can actually search for, uh, search for this guy with either Tooth and Nail or Green Sun Zenith. We can also search for Ojutai with Tooth and Nail. So, I mean, like, we're, our splash is very minimal here. And we're actually only playing Siren to Befreet, um, because I think he's very good with, like, Edric. So, you can just put a locks and a Warhammer on. It's just a 3-4 flyer for three. Like, also, if we're, if we're, um... If we're taking a point of damage from this guy, I also don't want to be taking a point from City. Um, I'm not even sure on a reflecting pool, quite quite honestly. Because once we if this if we need white mana, this is only going to tap for mana when we have one white already, right? True. And if we need blue, it's only going to tap for blue when we have one blue. And if we need green and we need a reflecting pool, we might as well just have a forest at that point. This is also 16 lands. This is a 16 land deck. I think so. Do you think so? We have a lot of like ramp, right? I feel like if we get two lands, we're we're pretty much where we want to be. I, I could see playing sixteen lands with this. We also have a green sun zenith, which is also another two drop if we want Avacyn's Pilgrim. Oh yeah, that's true. If our opponent has a port and we have a um, a city of brass, we basically just die. So that's that's good times. I think this is the deck, right? Can anyone confirm there's no cards that have the word target on them in here? You can just read them. Yeah, but I don't want to do all that. That's a lot of things to do. I mean, we drafted them all. We looked. There's no targets. That's true. Yeah. All right. I think we're good. All right, cool. Oh, Ollie Eldrazi himself. It's my, it's my boy. What are you doing, buddy? Where are you streaming? Some what were you streaming? Seventeen. Here we go. Three zero would be sick. Can you imagine if we threw out with the stipulation? Anything's possible. Anything? Yeah. Look at this beautiful hand. Turn one, search. Turn two, battlement. Turn three, Hermit Druid. Deranged Hermit Druid. Your IQ went up three points. That's awesome, dude. Did your physical dexterity? Did your did your APM go up too? Because that's how that's how playing Magic Online works. Take a look. It's in a book. Ali Eldrazi. No. Okay. Sounds good. So you were playing, were you playing Magic Online both, both for both of your streams today? Because that is a lot of Magic Online for you. The he you're the Hex Man. Hex Man cometh. And the Hex Man taketh away. Is that how that goes? Yeah. Nothing about that is correct, I think. Sure, why not? Just search your soul. I'm searching for tomorrow, Michael. Why not search for today? Oh, I think it's that instead, right? Yeah, that seems decent. Let's get a Savannah. Yeah. I like that better because it thins our deck of the 16 lands that we don't want to actually draw. Actually, we need one more land, I guess, to uh, to play Deranged Tournament next turn. Maybe we shouldn't have thinned our deck. Oh, no. I guess we, no, we, could, we could play Advocate Overgrown Battlement at, at the very worst, so... Yeah, they have six tiers, so cool. <laughs> Nothing to play, huh? Intriguing. What are the odds are they're going to wipe our board next turn? Nah. What up, Mitch? So we just do it, you think? Yeah, we're good. Wow. We're good. You heard it here first, folks. Michael Bartholomew approved. Pretty sure we actually just keep Deranged Sherman next turn. Attack for a million. Yep, here we go. Everybody's dead. I don't I could care less about that. 
that is... I don't even think we have spells in our deck. Hugh, 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 hugh. Stay home. Go attack for, squirrels. Attack for 10. Go. That's pretty good, right? There is too many Mitches in chat. Yeah. So many Mitches, dude. So many Mitch. So many Mitch. Supreme Verdict. No Supreme Verdict. Wrath of God. Parallax Wave. That's pretty good. I guess they're just... I mean, like, they waste a whole Parallax Wave to get rid of all the squirrels. They can't get rid of this guy. They could. It would just be bad. It would just not be ideal. Correct. I mean, they can't get rid of Primeval Titan, I guess. Mitch is in the kitchen with onions? Probably. Speaking of which, I have to make a shopping list. Remind me to make a shopping list. I remind you nothing. Yeah, no, that's probably true. You're probably not going to do that because... You're just a dumb Mitch. Wow. Wow. We could have played Primeval Titan first, but I'm not sure if I just want to run out of Ojitai instead. Or Dromoka. You ever go to the... Uh... You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to make the Dromoka joke. <laughs> Too obvious. He got rid of the deranged hermit? Interesting. And that guy? I'm intrigued. Going to two, huh? All right. No, go to five. They're one ones now. All oh, right, sure. Because their their daddy is gone. Daddy, daddy, squirrel man is gone. Daddy, squirrel man is gone. It's a song, okay? I don't need your sass. It's a we song. have actually Who sings it. Don't worry about it. It's not your business. I'm very worried about it. It's just prime time, right? I think so. You know, I really hated calling him Prime Time when, when people first started calling him that because I'm like, it's Titan, not Time. I don't understand. I'm real literal when it comes to things like that. Like, I don't like people call uh, Sakura Tribe Builder Steve just because it doesn't make sense to me. But I, I guess I got over it. It's Prime Time, boy. It is Prime. Oh, they just exiled Prime Evil Titan, too. What is even happening right now? Do they know what happens when Parallax Wave leaves the battlefield? Maybe they're just going to kill us in this turn. When it leaves the battlefield, you return all the creatures. Is mm -hmm. there like a combo? Okay, that's not it. <laughs> that's not doing it. All three of these are good to get back. Well, two of them have pretty sick triggers that we're going to be exploiting soon. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we just activate this and attack, if you block here, I guess you'd exile one. Is that any good? You just we just get it back. So you take three, you block one, you take four, you go to one. What up, Enrage Muffin? I don't think Container Priest is in this cube though, right? I haven't seen it. You falling asleep? You just no, you're just bumping your nose against the microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the thing, I guess. That's like I do. Well, I think we just passed fact fiction. And we get all these guys back, we get a fact fiction. How we even lose? I don't know. I mean, I'd rather put them to two and attack here. All right. can't exile this guy they'll probably exile a token but then we get our guys back yep if you can't so actually if they can't remove a fade counter that's when they lose no 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 activate blue boop, boop, boop. all right plus we factor fiction they just counter it that sounds pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just Forgot Mike. Boop into Mike like you do. He do. 
He do do that. That is what he do. He do. Didn't even realize we were drafting with the Punisher. Yeah. We got old Mike Castle back here. Oh, look. We just literally ate their Geist of St. Traff at Lumbering Falls. Like you do. Mike Castle, where I believe you. <laughs> Wait, why are you... Well, this is a terrible idea. Now you have to... You would have had another turn. And now it's post-combat, too. Like, you actually took the damage in the next Hollow Squirrel. I'm real confused right now. Are they trying to do it in such a way that, like, all the guys come back now and they can Wrath of God right now? That would be good. Yeah, I guess. I would give you credit for that, actually. That's pretty baller. Oh, what if they have, like, Nimble Obstruction? Nope, okay. Well, that's not it. Even if they have Wrath of God, we still have Lumbering Falls and, like, a, a handful of gas? I'm confused. It's gotta be. They have to be setting up for Wrath of God here. I That has to be the case, or they're right? they're setting up for death. One of the two. They get the Misty. Hundred percent wrath of God. Or they're hundred percent dead. They're hundred percent dead. I'm real I'm so confused right now. Leovold, four months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome to Les Salta. Welcome back to your own brood, I guess, as it were. The hardest part about this stipulation, I think, is that you don't really have great sideboard options. Nope. So you're just like, well, looking good. Submit as it is, I guess. Or we're going to take over Lumbering Falls in that pack. Some kind of stupid thing. We took Lumbering Falls. We're going to get something else. What are we going to get? I forgot. Someone let us know. Some type of way. Make me feel some type of way. I do. I don't actually hate splashing the Geddon and just being like, all right, Geddon, boys. Geddon, boys. In Rage Muffin, there was a stipulation. There you go. Oh, Noah was drunk. He's catching on. He knows what's up. Draft no cards of the physical word tech target in their rules text reminder text and planeswalkers are the exception. Maybe he wants to support the stream but has no money to donate. So he's just like, you know what, man? I appreciate your stream. I'm just going to scoop to you. In, boys. In, in so many ways. That makes me feel some type of way. A solid one two two one deck. Wow. Thanks. I'll keep this hand. This hand seems good. If we can get a search for Mar or an Avacyn's Pilgrim, I would be grateful. That is not what I asked for. But it is what you got. That is true. What up, Irish one? One Irish one. Oh, the old pass and go. Can I get a far seek or a rampant growth? I accept. I accept your Toms. I was going to get a Savannah anyway. Trugrin, 25 months. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Don't counter this. Don't do it. Don't. Just stop. You don't want it. It's not a scary card. It's just a little... Look how happy he is. You want to counter my sauntering Rafelos? He's just is, picking some berries. That is... <laughs> this is the happiest elf bard I've ever seen. That's pretty good. We'll just block it. Still pretty good. It makes me feel some type of way, you think. So one, two, three, four, f we have five mana now? Yep. Hmm. Do I need juicy four drops we can go get? I don't know, and I always wish I kept the deck. I always, I always forget to screenshot the deck. Can someone tell me if we have any juicy four drops? We have Oracle of Moldaya. It's actually not terrible. If we had one more land, we could actually play Nyssa, play the forest, add three more, and play the Serendib. Actually, one, two, three, four. What if we play Nyssa this turn? Play the forest? 
And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, and we can just tooth and nail next turn. That's pretty good. Now we, we can't entwine it though. We need nine to entwine. Nine to entwine. You're gonna do that. Uh, Nissa targets. The first part of Nissa doesn't target. The second half of Nissa targets, but uh, Planeswalkers are the exception, as noted in the stipulation. So. Only have one more mana. Do we just Green Sun for an Avacyn's Pilgrim? We can actually go Nissa, Green Sun for one, and then next turn we play the Forest and do it, right? Hold on, does that work? So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. No, we only have eight. What do you do with five mana? I just like getting Oracle with I. I do kind of like that. Actually, let's do that. All right. I'm a fan of that. Plus, like, we can see if we have anything else that's better. And if there's a, a thing on top. Kitchen Finks, Avison. Yeah, let's go with Oracle. Dang it. Oh, we're going Battlement. Dang it. Also, Nissa plus Harmonize next turn is pretty good, right? One, two, three. So we can go one, two, three for Nissa. Play the land. Play another land off the top. You know how it goes. What if there's two forests on top? That seems good, right? If there's two forests, we actually just get to tooth and nail. I will take four. Why is it so big? You don't need to be that big. You don't need to be all, all big. Play something dumb that doesn't affect us in any way. Oh, you didn't play anything. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, don't... Oh, okay, good. All right, Primeval Titan, you gotta go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my oh, God. Wow. Wow. Extremely rude. That was extremely rude. All right, there's still a chance. We also have Siren to Befreet to block. We also have Jeroka to gain us some life, so... Also, we can just play Primeval Titan next turn, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, what a... Man, what a timely Nimble Obstructionist. Aren't they afraid of me flipping? Flipping Nissa? They have to be terrified. In four more lands, we just get to flip them. That's a long time from now. I left Magic about two years ago and came back up a week ago. Any recommendations to catch me up for drafts? Ooh. Not really. Just playing. Oh, dang it. This is looking worse and worse. Just playing as much as you can is really my, my best advice, I think. Oh, God. I don't know what to do here. Let's just harmonize and hope there's more lands on top. Even if we draw the lands, I'm still... Oh, boy. One land? Really? That's what you're giving me? Burp, 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 is right. I mean, if we hit any land on top, we can get Dromoka in play, which is pretty strong. But we're also going to... We're going to take eight here and go to three. Oh, boy. This is bad. I saw region and Nimble Obstructionist and Mirror and Crusader have all been amazing against us. Maybe we should have just played Saren to be freed first. Just to shut down the stupid Mirror and Crusader. Yeah, this is pretty rough. I think we're dead. It's not looking good. Wow, I felt like this game was going really well after that Rafelos. Yep, that's exactly what I figured you'd have. That's probably going to do it. Well, you knew we were drawing that. Yep. Okay. Try again. Try again. Okay, is Rick's a fun and worth it format? I'm debating drafting third parties. To, um, I wouldn't actually. I don't. I don't think there's any benefit to drafting Rick's at this point. I personally would draft Cube just because it's fun. 
and uh, then Dominaria comes out relatively soon. I don't think learning the Rick's the the Rob's Vexilon draft format. I don't think there's any real advantage to it at this time. It also sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> it also sucks. Mike B, ladies and gentlemen. Garadar, we definitely end up in green a good deal. You're not wrong. But, you know, green's a good color. It's all right. Green is good. Isn't that what Gordon Gecko said? Because he's, he's a gecko? Yeah. Oof. This hand is rough. I'm going to keep it because I like Metamorph. All right. So next turn we can have Avacyn's Pilgrim, Search for Mar, Rampant Growth, Overgrown Battlement, or Farseek. And I'll be okay with either of those five cards. Or Rafellos. Um, That's actually also fine. Let's just play one step closer to Ojitizzle. Ojitizzle. I think Rick's grew on me after a certain amount of time, but I was never... It's... Really? You stupid idiot. I feel like we just play this guy because it lets us play Ojutai next turn. Yeah. You see that? Which is just stronger than doing nothing next turn. Oh, man. What an idiot. What a stupid Avacyn's idiot. Of course. Of course. Of course. The Avacyn restored card. The Innistrad card shows up. At the wrong time. Nothing nothing was good about Avacyn Restore. Well, it's an Anastrod card, so I was wrong. So it doesn't even, the joke doesn't even make sense anymore, but I'm just going to hold on to it. I see. I'm just going to play Ojitai anyway. Oh, and then we can actually put this on your stupid thing next turn. That seems good, right? Satellite. We can go Song and Nissa next turn. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Opponent has Day of Judgment as well? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I haven't seen it yet. Yes, we have. Did the Day of Judgment us? When? How did you know that? That's really weird. Yeah, because he hadn't done that yet. Yeah, that was interesting. How did you know that? It must be one of them Oh, it's your auger. It's right there. Oh. No, well, that's good to know. Maybe we should have thought about that. Well, I, I, it hides it. I have literally, I literally hate it that it's sitting right here, and it's it's hidden unless you see like a card like this. It's usually this little thing that shows up that's completely innocuous. I it, that's been a complaint of mine for a while. That really grinds my gears. Grinds my gears as well. I wouldn't have played Ojitai had I seen that. Yeah. Oh, I can copy you. Four, five, six. Could just hammer time. Yeah, but that's first strike, so that's pretty bad. Oh. Yeah. Oh is right. Oh my. Oh my god. And why doesn't hammer just be a plus three plus three? Why doesn't it just be a plus three plus three? You're not wrong. Oh, shit. I feel like I just metamorph and copy this. Do 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 do. And I feel like the guy almost have to blow Oblivion Stone. So we're trading a Nissa and a Gisela, or a Nissa and a, a Metamorph for an Oblivion Stone and a Gisela. And their turn, I guess. 
And if we hit a land, we can actually Song of the Dryads, the Oblivion Stone, if they cast something, and we can play like Serendib or Sure. For zero, so I'm just going to draw it? Oh, so you're just like guaranteeing I don't have the land, I guess? No blocks. That's weird. Do you just counter it? I feel like we might not win this game. We'll find out soon. That's a good point. We will find out soon. What's up, Chris? Chizo and Exel. What's going on, guys? Monsanter, Thanos. Uh... So the podcast, Freshly Brewed, Ollie and I did an episode a couple weeks, like last week, I think, and we've just been taking a little bit of time off. As far as CFB, I've just been actually focusing on my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, I've had like videos going up every single day. So uh, just slowing down on most stuff that isn't YouTube related. I'm just going to put this on here. I have a feeling if you had a counter split, you would have countered something. But you're probably going to save your thing to put a counter. You're probably going to put a fate counter on this so that it, yeah, okay. Sure. It's still, it's still a fine use of mana. We could have put it on this, but then when they blow this up, I guess they both die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I kind of like keeping my stuff alive, so. Can you sing us the Song of the Dryads? I don't know it. Can you pretend like you do? Maybe. Well, that's unfortunate. Wow, they're really going, going ham on this... On this metamorph here. Did you say what now? Maybe. Michael says what? Maybe. Maybe what? That is unfortunate. Ah, we should have attacked first. <laughs> That's also unfortunate, but whatever. Well, if the hammer resolved, I would like to get in there. Don't be another land. It's actually pretty okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't block very it well. It doesn't block very well at all. How We're just like losing to Gisela here. Mm -hmm. It's like a mini Bane Slayer and yeah, very much so. Yeah, you're just going to kill this, kill this, right? <sighs> yeah, not great. Uh, my dog's name is Pig. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. What? You're going face here. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't really do much. Draws an extra card. Oh, wait, wait. No, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to dead. I was going to say play the bailout first, but because of the extra trigger, but it doesn't actually matter. Well, I also want to play this guy and maybe like, go to six. I don't know. We'll see. Don't be land. That doesn't do anything at all, does it? I think we're dead. dead. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, that was unfortunate. Alright, let's go to the next game. 
Didn't someone say one, two, two, one, two, one? Something like that? Yeah. I really like how you put it a video today. I barely get to finish one during my free time before you get out of it. Yeah, I, I schedule them all for 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so if you guys have not done so, head on over to YouTube and subscribe to Frank Laporte or youtube.com slash Frank Laporte. I will keep this hand. And so like, if you ever miss something like a stream, you can check it out there. But also, if you just have a lot of free time, you get a lot. You get a nice backlog, and you never run out of stuff. So, super aggro. This is pretty aggro. You are not wrong. Actually, just want that. Actually, this guy into Edric next turn seems pretty good. I don't think this hand looked very risky. We had a two drop at least, so, so Search could have cast that guy. Oh, wow. Wowie Kazowie. All right, so you don't have a two damage spell in hand. That's good to know. Or a three damage spell. I guess you could double block. How do you feel about, how do you feel about that? He ain't blocking. He playing red. And I don't think we're in the business of attacking either. Ooh. Do we just play hammer and pass? Hammer him. Also, you still got a land to play, I believe, right? Yeah. Is it hammer? We could just Edric and attack, but then they're just going to block. They're going to double block. I'm just going to play hammer and pass. They also have three cards in hand. That is not a lot. Just enough. No, it's not a lot. To kill you. But your attitude and Mikey B is so much... Yeah, this guy, he just, he adds a lot. It's mostly because of my mental conditioning of him. I don't add often. What's math? Exactly. That's it. You just... There it is. You nailed it. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> oh, there was a sweat and then the epic. Remember that? No. How do you always forget that quote? That's literally a quote you said. Tater Tot really is the wild card. You're right. Remember your name was Tater Tot? Yeah. Who gave you that nickname? You remember? Was it Baby Cakes? I think it might have been Baby Cakes. Mike B, can you narrate movies in a British golf announcer voice? Moves in a British golf announcer voice. What's What's... What's a British golfer announcer sound like? Is oh, just... it's uh, it's it's probably like this. He's trying to get a... his trees in the sand. He's really that. quiet, is he? Yes, he is. Oh, okay, I understand. There's, There's a sweat, sweat in, in the, the ep epic. <laughs> I don't even remember what that oh, reference is. Man, I wish th I someone clipped it. I think, and then they and they sent it over to me, or they sent me the YouTube link, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. There was a sweat in the epic. I enjoy eating pot cookies and watching the stream. Nice. Oh, that's a... We just drew a Nissa Vastwood Sia, ladies and gentlemen. Craggy. Do we just equip? Yeah, get in there. He's dead. He's dead. He's we can also play Nissa before. and play land. Which puts us in a better shape for next turn, I think. Yeah, we're at 16. We got time. I know, boy. Boy. Do you know, boy? It's surprisingly difficult to work out while listening to you guys. I keep having to stop because I'm laughing too much. Wow, that's actually a great compliment. I accept. Because you can't really not accept a compliment. That's not how they work. I'm not going to attack this guy. I don't feel like having the double block here. I don't feel like trading a goblin guide for a sylvan avocado. And putting a card in your graveyard. Do you remember Steve Meridian? Rip. I just don't bother working out. Wow. Too real, Courtney. Too real. <sighs> this this dude's dealing one a turn for like a million years. You may have missed my question board. What software do you use for recording? I just use OBS. 
Uh, while I'm streaming, I also record the... Um, just record the games. Oh, that was actually great because then we could far seek and play a three drop in the same turn. Try to equip that hammer. I'm gonna I'm gonna search for a land first because it'll actually give us the sixth land for for avocado. Oh yeah. Don't do it, man. Just let it just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Oh. Let it be. Let it be. Oh. Equip is three. Cost the same as it costs to. Uh... Yeah, we're just doing this. To go to the doctor. Four, seven, five, seven, five, vigilance, trample, lifelink. I'm on board. And the game is over. I mean, they got he, blue cards. He but... hath died. But we go up to 22 here, so... That's pretty... Yeah, but unfortunately, these other cards are red, so he's probably going to lose. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that. Well, that is the biggest avocado I've ever seen. And we also get to play Dromoka next turn. I'm pretty sure Loxon, Warhammer, and Dromoka... Oh, right. So, actually, I, 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 I think we you were more, more correct than you thought. We won. All right. Oh, Michael B., it's, uh, it's a hell of a victory right now. He's... Uh... Got him right in the yarbles, we did. In, in the what? The yarbles. Is that a British thing? It's a clockwork orange thing. Oh, I see. Well, Which is my favorite of the accents. Did you guys, do you want to go to the hit of the milk bar later? <laughs> <laughs> that is where they go. I know. Would you like to, tell me more about your yarbles. Rise rain, they are. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. The funny thing is I like this deck a lot. We have two Dragon Lords. Two Dragon Lords dot deck. Two dragons. One lord. No, two lords. Just one. But they're two Dragon Lords. Only one is praying. Okay. Sometimes it's real hard. Sometimes our it's friendship clearly one is lord. difficult. Oh, is clearly the lord. Wouldn't would is Jermoka be the Lord because Ojitai is praying to the Lord? No, Jermoka is just a filthy peasant who doesn't pray. Thoughts and prayers. Oh look, Jermo look, look, Ojitai's doing did this because there's see a that, school shooting. Clearly, did, did you see that meme where it was like the Matrix and he's blocking all the bullets and it says when the thoughts and prayers kick in? Kick in, yeah, that was good times. <laughs> uh, I'm English. I'm offended. Oh, was fair. it because of the yarbles? It's pretty fair. I didn't I, I didn't realize this should be a Yarbles free zone. Do 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 what is he what are, what are these what are these emojis you're using here? Is it a think and then a face palm? Is this supposed to be Kenji? That's pretty funny. That's really detailed. Bill Hader? Nobody knows what happened to that dude. Who? Bill Hader. He's, he, isn't he still on Saturday Night Live? Probably. Good one. What do I know? I like that even though I've gotten like five subs in this stream, my sub count has actually gone down too. What's that about? Any hand with Rafelos in the in the opener is real good, right? That's a good one. I don't care about your stupid Swift Spear. You can Swift Spear at the heck out of here. I know who Ilion is. Why are you like this? I'm actually going to get a savanna. A so what? Savanna. A so what? Savanna. Because okay. now we can actually play, if we if, if this guy doesn't die, we just get to play Dromoka on turn three. He'll, he'll be dead, I'm sure. But, you know, if he doesn't die. Yeah, that guy probably won't live. Don't care about that. Ready? Fingers crossed. All right. We have F6. Let me know when the worst is over. Ooh, we got a Abbot of Carol Keep revealing. A mountain. No, oh, he doesn't have a spell or he would have played it. Unless he's trying to psych us out. 
Conceded because he couldn't kill Rafelos. Wow. Good yes. games. Good games. Solid. <laughs> Clearly the scariest of the elf druids. Look at really? him. Look how terrifying he is. Oh, I didn't get to play our turn three Dromoka. Good game. Everybody played didn't hard. Didn't we really, though? Didn't we really? Everybody played hard. Did we really? You done messed up, <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. We're fellows OP. Our opponent forgot to eat his spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Yeah. Oh, that was a deck we were playing earlier. I see what you're looking at. I think this hand's fine. Oh, we can actually go... Oh, we can get a Rafelos. I'm down. Because you know how strong Rafelos is. I think the question is, what do we get? Do we get a Plains or a... Or a Island Ooh. gets us Factor Fiction. A oh, mirror never mind. match. Well, that answers that. Who will win the Battle of Green? Me. You better hope so. Me. Actually, what if we if we if we get Avison's Pilgrim next turn? What is that? Where does that put us? Turn three, we'll have three lands and Avison's Pilgrim and a search, so five mana. Oh, he's got a wasteland. Great. I'm gonna get Avison's Pilgrim here. Because we have a ton of stuff to do, I just don't want to fall behind. So next turn we'll have five. We can just play like Factor Fiction or Serendipity Freak. He should have wasted my Savannah. Oh, the clip of the guy coming in from the bottom saying, wow. Wow. Don't Wasteland me, bro. I also wanted to get Avacyn's Pilgrim because, oh, wow, they're just going to whoop Swords of Plowshares and Wasteland? That is aggressive, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good, though. Yeah, you ain't wrong. But, like, we have to really stumble here because we still put this at, like, a million lands. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do, 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 do. So they only have one more land than us, but we have like. Okay, something's good. Something good. Oh, six mana. Primeval Titan of their own. Here we go. You ready? Mm. Do they ever not have it? Oh my god. Come on, dude. How is it possible? I feel like situations like this. Confirm for me with maybe like 900% accuracy that we are living in a simulation where I can name the worst possible card they're going to play and have, and they do. It's 1,000. We live in a 100% live in a simulation. 100%. Yeah, it's not a good one though. Not a fan of it. Same. Tech Tool, you too. Good games, man. Frank, are you worried that after you gave Mike his own mic, he would start counter-streaming you? Um, I haven't been yet because Mike doesn't show a lot of initiative. But I think once he starts showing initiative, we might have a little, a little problem on our hands. Uh, here we go. Tap, tap. Tooth and nail. Oh, is that all? I see. I'm going to go to the next. Yeah. I'm going to go to the next game. Seems fair. Yeah. Likes to smash you. Don't say you're a big fan and then crush me like that. Jeez. Don't do me like that. Yeah, it's fine. I 
I mean, I feel like we'd be in fine shape if they didn't have Swords to Plowshares for Avacyn's Pilgrim and Wasteland. But... Yeah, it was a little rough. Oh, this hand looks great, though. Keep. Turn one Pilgrim, turn two... Search? Let's do that. Also, don't get a Savannah. Apparently not. I mean, we can search, get planes, get island. So that seems pretty good, actually. Actually, I'm probably just going to play that guy. It's pretty aggressive. Um, Actually, I don't know if I like... Well, is it? It is aggressive. I think it's good, though. It's a lot of pressure. The problem is, like, we can't play... We can't, play, we, just play. we can't play Oracle next turn unless we hit a land. Gotta get in that dame, I, still boy. Do, I do like this, actually. I'm trying to prevent damage. I'm trying to deal damage. You know what I mean? Wow. I, lo I like the binary. I like it. You guys are ridiculous. Land. Yes. That was actually the best draw. Because now we can play Lumbering Falls. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. If we can hit two lands off top, we can green sun zenith for like primeval titan. Seems pretty insane. Of course, they're gonna path this guy, swords this guy rather. B, aggressive. B, B, aggressive. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Oh boy, and something else. Wall of blossoms. Duskwatch recruiting. Okay. I'm going to always yield to that. I don't think it's relevant. Two lands off the top. Two lands. That's no lands off the top. We still have... So we have one, two, three, four, five for search. So if search for four. No, or uh, for Green Sun Zenith, rather. I'm just going to cast this. Really? Why don't you get a planes there? Oh, uh, we already have Avacyn's Pilgrim. I don't know. Didn't uh, I wanted to actually... What'd I get? A forest? Yeah. I don't know. Might just be I'm not smart. I'll consider it. Do we just green Sun Zenith for something? No. Do you know? I'm still an advocate here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so Sundering Titan. Also, Sundering Titan is a good reason not going to planes there. Duplicant. That's actually just fine. I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. Hooray. Hooray. Do we play Nissa first? We'd have to play Nissa first and then Flipper. <laughs> Would you like to draw over Phyllis? Yes, and then we'll play the Rafellos. And we'll play that next turn. That was a good one. So one, two, three, four, five. We can double block here. That doesn't seem great for us. I will just pass to you. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do we have plenty of mana if you can not kill the Rafellos for one turn? And you have one, two, three, four, five mana. Did you whiff? Puts no cards in their hand. That's pretty good for us. Especially with this dude on top. All right. A Bloom Chicken Tender. Yo, what up, Mike? Yeah, we did We did, We did. did indeed go green. You know, it's for the environment, buddy. John and... What's up, John Boyer? John B. Good seeing you guys. Always a pleasure. I guess we're not doing anything here. I guess we're just going to... Yeah, sure. Let's just do this. How's that sound? Seems good. How much does this add? Probably like a million? Sure. So three, one, two, three. 
Uh, what are we hitting here? Metamorph. We can copy like a duplicant. Is it just Primeval Titan Rampaging Belos? Is that just where we're going to want to go? It's a lot of value. It is a lot of value. Or how much mana do we have left over? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we can actually go Bayloth and like something else, like a Dragonlord Ojutai. And then try to hit a land on the top, which we have a couple tries to do. And then we can actually search for Primeval Titan. Sure. I'm going to do that. Bayloth, Ojutai. Edric on top. Put these guys into play. Be a land. It's not a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can only search for five. Correct. But I really want to play land here before uh, things escalate. And we get another hit off the top, so. Battleground, get the range tournament. And we get to hit a land here, sure. Nicely done. I think we only played one land this turn, pretty sure. Always yes, always yield. That feels like a good turn. I'm no expert. Pretty full bird. Full bird? Full bird. That's when the bird can no longer eat anything else. Uh, I don't think we're attacking with Sylvan Advocate here. Same reason we didn't attack with the last time. But. Yeah. Just going to activate this dude again. It's only a matter of time before he gets Sundering Titan, I imagine. Two whiffs? How does that happen? Two whiffle bats. Bird 100%? What does that mean? How many? How much mana does this Ruffle Us make right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 12. 12 mana, huh? Why did you count the creatures when you did that? I don't know, because I'm thinking of Gaius Cradle. I always get Gaius Cradle and stupid Ruffellus confused as far as their abilities. One's forests, one's creatures. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. You get 7 mana to access? Okay. I would recommend keeping the birds untapped because we have an Ojutai, but you don't think that's relevant. Relevant. Sure. I hope you don't have any... Is there any good um, lands that I should be afraid of here? Let's find out. Wasteland, probably, to get our Lumbering Falls. Maze of Ith. Wasteland guy's critical, sure. They have one card in hand. That's pretty good. Also, this guy's pretty good. We have 18 cards. They have 24. We've drawn a significant more cards. Significant amount more cards than they did. I'm really looking forward to ultimating this Anissa, though. Let's put it that way. What's our ult do? Nothing like to... Uh, you untap up to six lands. They become 6-6 six, six elementals forever. Oh. Nothing like taking your dog out for a walk and getting to enjoy an intoxicated youth's rendition of whatever hip-hop is playing in his headset, which is mostly unintelligible except when he yells the N-word as he staggers down the middle of the road. Wow. Wow. I have no reason not to keep you around. Far seek. What's our... Do we have any shuffling effects? I'll reveal this far seek and put it into my hand. I'll make a Bayloth. I'll make another Bayloth. We actually whiff if we far seek, so don't do that. Good call, but it does shuffle our deck in case we don't want to draw this. That's true. I guess we just attack here, right? Yeah. Well, we should play Edric first. Too late. I don't really. I don't want to draw that many cards. To be honest with you, they might actually. It's not a May ability. Oh, it's May. Okay, so I still don't want to do it. Um, yeah, but you could have. You're right. Don't attack with the Bela. I don't even care if they block it with the, the Primeval Titan. I'm not just get the Primeval Titan off the board. But the value. I would rather win this game before they get out of control. 
I think we're the ones out of control currently. What if we alpha here? They have four blockers, right? Let's say they block the biggest things. Four, five, five, one. And... Well, they can't block it with a chest. This, so. this... Th okay, so sure, they're taking five, they go to nine. So they block four, five, six, six, four, four. And a two, two. So they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we just alpha here. We just kill them. They'll go to pretty low. No, they're dead. They can't block Ojasai, so they're automatically at nine. If they block four, four, six, six, five, four, four, and two, two, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they're already at nine. So this is pretty much a game. Well, they went through the box. Yeah, they probably didn't do the math like... They did not do math like we did. And they did now. Okay, sweet. Man, I wish I could board in like a Trigon Predator. But alas. Is Genesis way... Nah. No way. <laughs> that is way too greedy. Is it? Yes, it is. You don't have to do any maths for your uh, for your chiropractor life. Why don't you shut up? Why don't you shut up? Good call. Yeah, didn't think of that, did you? What do you know about that worm? Not much. Oh, he was joking. He's really actually very good at math. Good old Mikey Castle. We can't board in Predator because there's a stipulation. Uh, keep this hand. A little slow. Turn three Oracle is slow? Yeah. Okay. Well, I said a little. I didn't say a lot. Uh, beer man, I think you're thinking of the alphabet. There's a turn through Primeval Titan on there, and if they have it, so we'll see. It's really just a Primeval Titan matchup, right? Like, it's a 6-6 six, six Trampler. It lets you play anything in your entire deck. Let's get an Island. Here it is. Oh, that's even worse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. only five so oh there it is <laughs> okay why don't you just have it in your hand every game oh seven all right i don't know oh green green sun zenith four primeval titan that's better i guess oh it's also pretty good it is good but i worry about it less i think which is weird it's gonna kill us pretty fast maybe you're gonna kill us pretty fast ever think about that i hadn't Ooh, doggy. To Jeremy, I said ooh, doggy. It's all right. What's well, all right? I mean, we copy it, and then we block it, and then we, we die. <laughs> it's fair. It's a fair point. It's not going well. Stipulations are hard to win. Let's be real. Let's be real. In the real house. Yeah. What up, probably Julian? It's probably Julian. You know what that's from? No, I have no idea what that's from. <laughs> Get out of here, you shit hawk. Wow. <laughs> Which is also from that show. Yes. That's pretty funny. 
We're at seven. Yeah, it's not good. They, they made also, ten mana, eleven mana. Oh, crying twelve out mana. Loud. Wait, Kozilek? Genesis Wave? That's Genesis Wave. You know, the old casual turn three battle sphere turn four Genesis Wave for twelve. Like you do. Sundering Titan, Primeval Titan, Banishing. Yeah, okay. So we had a good run. <laughs> we played an Oracle of Maldaya, unfortunately. Uh definitely could have been worse. I, I don't think it was it was Oh god. Woo. Let's see if he's let's see if he wants to concede yet. I don't know. I mean, like, he, he probably just can't... I, I don't really see how they're going to win it from this position. Wow, they're doing many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I mean, I don't know what the problem is. We do have three forests. Like, hold on, hold on. Just need that green day judgment. That's actually, is that it? It's not it. Um, hmm. It's not it. This is called the scoop phase, Frank. I'm trying to see what I can copy here, man. I can copy either one of these guys. Yeah, no, totally. That's cool. Yeah, that'll do it. All right. I think we're good. What if he doesn't attack? He could not attack. He could actually not know how to attack. What if his hands literally fall off right before <laughs> combat step? He'll get his friend to come in and play the rest of the match and we'll still lose. Hey, man, I need you to hit the OK button. My hands fell off. And this is the most important thing for me right now. I see. That's necessary. It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Didn't even kill the hollow fountain, huh? Okay. Oh, they didn't even actually do the damage thing. They just did the the attack thing. Yeah, that would probably save us. See how much you like to smash when your hands fall off. <laughs> <laughs> you like to smash with your stumps. No hand Jones, they call them. Indeed. Unfortunately, he did indeed attack, so I imagine uh, the smashing is... I mean, you got a good blocker. Oh, I like that block. Yeah, you get him. Look at that value. <laughs> well, I could block the negative one, one that he's attacking with. Oh, negative 13. Either way, as usual, stipulation was super fun. I think the funnest part about stipulations is actually doing the draft and then seeing how the deck performs. 1-2 uh, is fine. I don't even mind because it was fun. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have stipulations or want to check out decks that you might have, uh, I do offer that in the description of my Twitch page. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And uh, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons.